Artist Francois Escamel creates abstract music on a mini theremin as a hobby. and striking images as a profession. His visual works often evoke his dreams and his nightmares. I've always been a surrealist at art, so what I do when I do a painting is put elements that don't go together, mix them up to create like a new reality, an, an imagined reality. Early in his career, the artist put a lot of himself in his work, literally, using photos he took of himself as a model to complete his visions. I guess I enjoyed the transformation, seeing who I can play, Believably. Eventually, Escamel switched from surrealistic paintings to surrealistic photo images. I did a photograph with, uh, that it takes place in the Arctic Sea, and you just have icebergs, and there's a character sitting on one of them and just waiting for the bus. So it's very absurd and funny at the same time. What's also funny, water made from a plastic bag and icebergs made of styrofoam. He made the sets himself, scale models designed to simulate environments as large as life. These are like mini movie sets that I'm making. So it was just another way to construct imaginary worlds, but not by brush, but really by hand. And uh, really going back to when I was a child, I would build things with my hands. It's a big pleasure there and just assembling, building, but very simply like with, you know, uh, styrofoam, little wood, a little steel and make another world with that. To keep it really simple, I had the idea that I would play all the characters in the photographs. Uh, so I just put on a costume. <coughs> So for this one particular one, I dressed as a soldier, take a photograph of me and then insert it with Photoshop in the, the set, basically like a cinema set that I had created. I think the inspiration was a real war photograph that I saw with a man and he had found something that was intact amidst like chaos and rubbles and it's the same idea basically of, you know, a soldier having been through war and then stumbling upon something that is still intact and something he's longing for. He's longing for a woman, the image of a woman, like represented by the mannequin, still like unbroken yeah, amidst all the rubbles and the uh, buildings that have fallen. Reminiscing about the happier uh, moments in his life that maybe he'll get back to or not. This one is a, uh, again a reflection on war, on like the uh, losing of life. And you have this body lying, like probably dead, and there's a big hand, which is a real hand in proportion to the scale model that kind of wanted to rescue the body. I thought it was very striking to have a real hand, like, kind of offering aid. It didn't take long before the artist had to put his hand back on a paintbrush, but he wanted to push that brush in a new direction. I feel very much the need to change what I'm doing as an artist. You know, many artists do that, like when they become uh, popular, they stick to one thing. That would be dying to me, like, to repeat myself. So I always I must explore something I haven't done before. What he hadn't done before were abstract images. But instead of a completely abstract painting, Escamel places his splashes of color in a realistic setting. It's um, a bit surprising for the viewer. I think it's not something we're used to. 
but the way I employ it, I think it's the abstract parts can work as figuration as well. I think that's what's interesting, that, that they have shapes and color but that can express emotion or even mimic nature or an object, something else. When I look at the world, I'm always questioning the, the illusion of reality or reality of the physical world. And the, these paintings, there's just another way to uh, talk about that. To be completely honest, I'm not sure I'll be remembered. I'll be remembered by my collectors who have a piece of my artwork in their, in their house. But uh, if, it, if it comes to be, I think I'd like to be remembered as an artist who always pushed his own limits to look for uh, something new and exciting to do.